going to do a song called Strangers Know Better. <clears throat> it's a... Uh, <laughs> you get stuck with the more depressing songs now that you ask for more. That's your own fault. Uh, <laughs> um, it was at the end of a relationship where I didn't really realize right away. I wasn't ready to admit that it was the end of a relationship, but sometimes you can tell just by the way that people look at you. I felt like I could tell that they knew my relationship was doomed. And uh, I think um, that's what this is about. It's about other people knowing you instinctively.
I'll go one more to Colleen Brown. How does that sound? It's oh, sure. We're setting the clocks. We're setting clocks, what, back from the weekend? Molly? Yeah, we can afford time for one more. Go for it. <laughs> okay. Colleen Brown, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I call this my Catholic guilt song. Um, <laughs> it's, about, it's called Good Girls, and it was inspired partly by the Donna Summer song, Bad Girls, which is about prostitutes, but this is not about prostitutes. Uh, <laughs> it is kind of about, it's actually also inspired by a book that I was reading called Women Who Run With Wolves, and it talks about how sometimes being good can go to extremes where it really starts to hurt you, and um, so that's the idea, is not going that far. Being good, but not too good. Here we go.
Colleen. Switch is talking now, right? Yes, it's okay, okay now. <laughs> that was a spectacular joke. Right. You're allowed. You're allowed to uh, 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 come back anytime you'd like because that was an incredible performance from you and your music. <laughs> We want to say thanks to everybody who made it out here to the Olds uh, event because we have people not only listening around the world on CKUA.com, but we have representatives live in, in the flesh here from around the continent of North America. I want to thank all of our friends from Trans Canada. to have you here from all corners of North America and Colleen you've scoured this continent over the last little while. I am it's, North American. You are North Canada. America. Yes. <laughs> I wonder what you'll be next. So uh, it's interesting that even as, as we say, the uh, 2007 album Foot in Heart is gaining new momentum. You're already making plans to go back in the studio. I know we heard some new material tonight. Tell yeah, you heard lots of new material tonight. Yeah. Definitely we're, I'm personally just totally pumped. I think, I'm pretty sure the band is pumped to go into the studio oh, and record. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a thumbs up, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> or maybe not. Was there a thumbs down? Who gave thumbs There's up? There's no thumbs up or thumbs down on the radio. Amy <laughs> was fist pumping. She's in the band still. <laughs> Tell us a little bit of fact about uh, your relationship with Amy Van Keegan because uh, we heard her singing background vocals and contributed percussion to the band and of course all of you have had a long musical relationship to one extent or another but you and Amy mm -hmm. have uh, several projects on the go. Well Amy and I both play in the secretaries mm -hmm. and uh, she's a very talented guitarist and singer clearly and um, she also plays, uh, she has the Amy Van Keegan rock and roll sing-along and dub vulture. She's all over the place. She does everything. Oh, at the Awesome Hots. How many bands could a person possibly? She has six bands. Six. CKUA, of course, in the last year or so, and uh, is that something that's kind of informing the new Colleen Brown material at all, the sort of brasher, heavier aspect of your music? You know what, I think definitely, definitely it's, I've been influenced by it. I think in part because I've sort of been this um, shrinking violet for a lot of my life, and just in the last few years since I've been playing in the secretaries, I've really started to feel much more confident about being myself and being outgoing trying to be outgoing even though I'm a total introvert <laughs> and uh, the secretaries has really definitely informed just the way that I approach songwriting I'm probably a little bit more aggressive or at least more assertive in my songwriting in my just the way that I write about things and the way that I approach being on stage has changed so for sure and I play guitar <laughs> and I play you know I, we have some sort of rock and roll influence Definitely. And it's fair to say we heard the full gamut of the Colleen Brown experience in this wee hour of Albert backstage today. Oh, I don't, I think there's a lot more to us. Oh, all right. We'll stay tuned. We'll stay tuned. That was Colleen Brown. One more round of applause. KUA listeners who entered online to win your CD, Foot in Heart, and your t-shirt, Colleen Brown. The winner is Judy Dahl of Old Alberta. and staff here at the beautiful Trans Canada Theatre for their support and cooperation. Our recording engineer is Scott Franchuk, executive producer Brian Dunsmore, with thanks to Laura Connor. Alberta Backstage is produced by Daryl Rochelle. Join us next Friday on Alberta Backstage for an evening of music and conversation with Eamon McGrath and Crystal. Remember, we'll be broadcasting live in Drumheller with a free concert featuring Calgary's Wood Pigeon at the East Cooley School Museum on Friday, December 3rd. Up next on CKUA, stay tuned for the Friday Night Blues Party with Cam Hayden. I'm Grant Sewell. Thanks for listening, and good night. <laughs>